What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And in the last Dicey video, we took on Indiana, our last non-conference game of the schedule, and ended up getting the big win, 49-21. to The first quarter was really rough, but the second quarter, we really put it on them, and they uh, just couldn't handle it after that. Uh, just our offense is just really clicking on all cylinders. We got the best running back in the country. Nobody can stop the kid as long as we get a push up front. Katie bar the door. So let's continue that as we are 22nd in the country and we're going to take a road trip to Eastern Michigan. This is our first conference game of the season. They're two and one, so they're having an okay season so far, but we got more talent than they do. You look at their stance, they don't do anything particularly well other than their defense looks solid, but it's still very early in the season in terms of what they're really good at. But before we take on Eastern Michigan, let's go to recruiting. Recruiting is going well. We're going after four guys, and we're in good shape for all four. So here's the guard, Derek McLaurin. We don't know much about what he is into, but we're number one on his list, which is a good thing. Next up, defensive end, Anthony Reed. We are way ahead of everybody else. Nobody's recruiting him, or we're just putting more points than him than anybody else is by a wide margin. We have him visiting the Western Michigan game, which is coming up after this one. And we got the positive pitch, which is great. Then you go to Justin Osai, the quarterback, number one on his list. Same situation with the guard. We just don't know what he likes yet. But then last but not least, Jared Colvin, another similar situation to uh, the defensive end in the fact that we're just way ahead of everybody else. Nobody's recruiting him. Apparently, we got a positive pitch. Just a great shape for all four of these players. So let's go ahead and enter the game. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, let's go and check out their uniforms. Their default is an all green look, which I think looks really slick. This was a team that was actually one of my finalists for this dynasty before I selected Akron. I just thought they had a pretty cool aesthetic. They got a cool Astro turf field, and of course, the uniforms look pretty cool. But they got an alternate, looks interesting. Then they got, and that's pretty much it. I like that all green, to be honest. So we'll go with that. Should be a lot of fun. I think they're a spread offense. Looks like they got a quarterback out that's suspended. We'll see if he's the starter. My guess is he's not. Only 135 yards passing through three games. I'm, that tells me he's probably a backup. But we'll see here shortly. But Butler is still out for a couple more games. And Heights out for a few more games. So we have a televised game. And I think it's called, what, Uplantis, Michigan, if I'm not mistaken. Want to kick off the conference schedule right See, I love that Astro or that artificial turf. Looks really cool. It's going to be cold, but no harsh wind. Yospelanti, Michigan. I think I said that correctly. If not, somebody can correct me in the comments. But they are in the other division. This is not a division game, but it's still, it's a conference game. It matters. And here come the Akron Zips. Maybe the best group of five team in the country. They're going to highlight Jackson having a killer season so far. I feel like he was our MVP in the last game. I think he had like three total touchdowns at least. A couple on the ground, or a couple through the air and one on the ground, I think. They're going to pick us the win. Let's go to the coin toss. We won it, and I want the ball to start the second half. And let's check out their roster and see what we are dealing with. Starting off, quarterback. They got a bunch of dual threat guys. So this backup, yes, he's the one that's suspended, but we're gonna deal with him. So this kid looks no different than what we just went up against Indiana. He was, but this kid's not an impact player at least. But they have, you look at their halfback, 78 and 76, not a whole lot here, and they're not very fast. But they have an impact fullback, which means they're gonna find a way to get him on the field and use him. So just don't be shocked if he gets like at least a dozen touches today on the ground and whatnot which is rare for them to have an impact fullback. But again, sometimes with the impact status in this game, it gets kind of funky. Wide receiver, 76, 74, 72. So they're uh, – if you, well, let's look at tight end first. You go to tight end, 76 and 78 on the speed, catch 74. So their skill players are just average across the board. But they got the impact guy fullback. So it's a weird combination of things. You look at the offensive line, 72, 76, 80. 76 and 80. So not bad. Look how big this kid is. 6'10", 355 pounds. You pretty much can't get any bigger than that in this game. I don't know if I've ever seen a 6'11 tackle. Uh, I don't know if I've seen anybody get over 350. So that's, again, that's like maybe the biggest guy you could ever 
get in this game. Let's look at their defense. I don't know what they run, but 76 and 80 on the edge. And 76, 76, 74, 70 up the middle. I feel like we can do more stuff up the middle or at least run a little triple because these guys aren't the greatest in the world. We'll see. You look at linebacker, 74, impact guy middle at 84, then a right outside linebacker at 84. So their linebackers are pretty solid, especially for this conference. Corners, not much, 76, 76, 72, not a lot of speed there. Free safety, just okay, 78 with 88 speed, and terrible at strong safety. So I feel like anybody in the secondary, we can attack as long as we can execute. Terrible kicker at 65, terrible punter at 65. He's a freshman. All right, let's get this show on the road. No impact guys on the back end. I'm going to kick it straight. Not a very strong kick, so this is very returnable. Let's see if we can get a clean tackle. I think they're going to run. I don't know what they're going to call. It's just going to be kind of weird. Let's go cover three for now. I don't know what to expect, to be honest. I really don't. Are they going to run a lot because they impact fullback? There he goes out of the gate. First play is a run, but we got to stop. That's good. Second and nine. We'll keep it quarters at nickel. And I'm just going to see. Are they going to keep running? I don't know. Going speed option. Ooh, this is a glitch play, but they're going to get some yards out of it. Ooh, we got a huge hit right there, but he got the ball back. So that's a glitch play. I don't know what it is. Let's see. It's a gun trips. It's, I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what play that is. I'll have to go look at it later. I thought that was weird. But I think it, the reason why it didn't work very well is because it's a flipped. Sometimes plays don't work well when you flip them. And I don't flip a lot of plays. That's why you don't see me mess up on a lot of them. But either way, that makes it, what, third and three. I'm going to go one high. I think they're going to run the ball. The last thing we want to see is this quarterback. I'm going to shift to the left because I got a blitzer on the right. Last thing we want to see is just run a back, quarterback running around all day. But there he goes to quarterback. And he got the first. So they went QB choice there to pick up the first down. So that's a lot of running right there. So let's go cover one. We're going to do some man. I think they're determined to run it because of the fullback and the quarterback and Let's see if we can keep everything in front of us. This is a, actually a nightmare scenario, if you think about it. It's an impact running back and a speedy quarterback. It's just a backfield you just do not want to see. So that was an easy run for them there. Let's go back to one high from nickel. We need another fumble is what we need. I'm going to go back and do this again. I just got shoved around like it was nothing. That's their backup halfback with an easy eight-yard gain. See, so you can go look at our defensive line. Everybody just got shoved. Like, just no chance whatsoever. Uh, we can try one high from nickel. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I don't know. They're going halfback direct. But that's a good stop. So it's third and four, but I still think they're going to run it. Um, uh, we'll go... Back to a one half from nickel. Do something like this and just they're going to pass it. And I just got destroyed. And touchdown. Dang it. Went for the SWAT and it missed it. So it's just just a terrible start. Not much I can do about that. Just my, and that's what worries me. See, now you see why I don't play a lot of man when, they, when teams pass it. You get plays like that happen to you. Oh, well, so we'll get on offense, and we may just have to keep up with this team all day. We'll see. But, again, that's just a, the nightmare scenario, the backfield of a speedy quarterback and a dual threat and an impact running back. But we got the same thing as well, so let's see if we can match that. Nobody blocked for me. Good job, everybody. I'm going to go do that and do that. And let's do a basic option out of the gate. So they're basic 4-3. We could run in any direction because that middle linebacker is dead center. 
Let's get a block. Good block right there. Get a block right there. Go, Jackson. Can he get the touchdown? I think he's going to get caught. Great run. Great, great run. He's just not super fast. I think he's got like, like 82 speed or something. But a great play all around. Good block. I was just very patient with the block on Gardner right there. And then just picked up as many yards as I could until I got tracked down. That's what we want to see, so let's keep running it. So I can go either direction. Looks like their best defensive ends on the left side, but I'm going to go in that direction. Let's see if we can just get a block or two. There we go. That's six points. I don't think he can get there. Got it. All right. Two plays, touchdown. So what we can do is just figure out what to do on defense. I don't know. Our front four needs to do some damage. I wonder if I can get a good thumbnail while I'm here. Like right here. I don't know if this will be a good angle. Maybe with, if I can get the cursor on him. I'm so sorry for doing this. It's taking forever. Sometimes the cursor on this thing is just a nightmare. Uh, Something maybe like that will be pretty good. Let me go ahead and get that one while I'm here. All right. Extra point. Let's go and figure out what to do on defense. Kick the extra point first. So let's get on defense, and I, I'll stick with man for now. I'd like to do zone, but zone, they could just run through us. Do something like this, another short kick. I just didn't time it right. Get a box, get a tackle somebody. Tackle, there you go. They're going to four two five. I'm gonna do a cover one from four two five. They're going three wide. Do something like this maybe. Intercept that, or don't. Another first down. So their passing game is killing it at the moment. And what the problem is, if I go zone to try to stop the pass, they go right back to the run game. It's just a balanced offense. It's just tough to beat. So we got eight guys in the box, and here they go, speed option. And they're going to get a touchdown out of that. Just, I mean, what do you do? Everybody got pushed back. Everybody. Look at that front tire, front line got destroyed. And this is why I don't like to play zone against run teams. He just stands there. He's got to pick somebody. Of course, he picked the pitch man. So first and 10 on the 12th. So that means we got to go back to man and just hope for the best. Something like this, maybe. Going speed option again. It just, I I, I have no answer. <laughs> if they're going to run speed option on us all day. So it's going to be a high scoring game. I may blitz from the outside more. I, I don't know. I'll have to come up with something. Maybe blitz from the nickel and then shade over to the opposite side. But that was just way too easy. And, and you saw it again. My front four just got destroyed. I don't know why they keep getting beat all the time. but And I got the slider set at default 50, but oh well. So let's go get that touchdown back. Nobody blocked that dude. Good job. Uh, let's try play action. We'll go PA roll right. We're going man. We'll just go to probably somebody on the outside. Cover zero. I got hit when I threw it, and he drops it. What do you do? You know, he just dropped it. Uh, so let's let's go back to a basic run play. Looks like they're going zone 5-2. Uh, I'm going to go to the right. Just get a block. There we go. Good block right there. Get a first down. Just don't fumble it. Good play there. Uh, I want to try basic option. We're going to flip this. They're going zone. Let's see how they shift. I'll probably go to the right again. Just pitch that. You got a first down with Gardner. So he broke the all-time record for most yards ever. 
Somebody have to go back and check me on it. But that's pretty cool if he done that. I, I think I read that correctly. All right, let's go to the left. Get a block. Thankful he broke that tackle. Get about seven yards there. Uh, let's go do basic option. Uh, I may, and I got no choice but to go right here. Had to get that one off quickly. Somebody came right on through and destroyed my quarterback. I just don't, my left guard just gave up on it or something. I don't know. Uh, first and 10 on the 19. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this rollout play. We're going to try it. Let's go AB corners. So they're going man. This will either go to New Whale or I'm just going to run it with Jackson. And they're going QB spy. Terrible throw. Just not good enough. Uh, second and 10. We'll just go basic power again. They're going back to zone. Oh, I got to go back to Gardner, though. Just get a block or two. Get a field. First down. Almost get a touchdown. And we'll just stay here and just pick up the touchdown. We're going to run to the... Uh, let's, let's go back to the left. Just give it to Gardner. Get a block there. Good job. All right. So we got the touchdown back. Uh, the key is, we're just, what do we do on defense? Again, I just don't have an answer, uh, but we're going to try some outside blitzes. Some I, I don't know. I'll come up with something. It, may, it doesn't make a difference if your front four can't get a push, though. Can't get off their blocks. Do something like this. And he hits the PAT. Under a minute now in the first quarter. The score. I may, so I may try those under fronts with an outside blitz, but I, I, I kind of did that a couple of drives ago and it didn't work either, so I don't know. We need turnovers is what we need, but they're just going to run us to death, and I don't blame them. I would do the same. Get to stop somebody. So they're going four wide, so like I can try like crash two. And I may start controlling the defensive end. We'll do something like this. And then I'll control one end. Intercept that. I mean, we just got no chance if we're going to have crap plays like that. <laughs> Even their pass game is killing it. Uh, so let's try. I'm going to go. I'm going to stay in nickel. Let's go. Let's do the man version. Again, so our secondary is just playing awful at the moment. Eastern Michigan lines up with three receivers. Well, let's spread them out. Decent enough stop. He's still got a couple. Picked up three on that somehow. I'm going to go back to a zone and cover blitz. Uh, I hate the blitz, but I don't know what else to do to stop the run. And that leaves us vulnerable on the inside, just like that. There he goes, first down. I, I, again, my front four, the quarterback's hurt. Maybe that's our only break we're going to get. But look at our front four. Just nothing. Just nobody could do anything. Uh, so let's, I hate to say it, but hopefully he's seriously hurt. <laughs> Otherwise, we may get beat today. So if you ever want to know how to win, one of the easier schemes you could run is just, but what, what I'm doing, what this team is doing, run, run, run. Another QB draw, and there he comes. Golly, this is the backup quarterback. What's the deal? And a face mask. Gosh, our defense is terrible. Somebody make a play out there. That QB draw is killing us. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, oh, that's so frustrating. Like, nobody can do anything right on defense. Um, I don't know. Um... I'm going to do quarters. We'll crunch in, and I, I, I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> Picks up four there. But again, look at my my defensive line. Everybody got shoved around. Everybody. Somebody make a play down, down there. 
So terrible first quarter. The only reason we're tied is because our offense is hanging with them. I'm going to do like an all-out blitz. I don't know what to call. And their quarterback's coming back. So there went that dream of him being out the rest of the day. It's just terrible. Awful. I just, I'm starting to get really frustrated here. Look how big this gaping hole was. I mean, an absolute man. I, it's a miracle he didn't score a touchdown. It was his fault. Uh, we'll go all that blitz this time. Again, that, is it going to matter? Probably not, the way we're playing. I'm going to crunch in, spread out. Fine, there we go. At least somebody came through and done something in the backfield. Second and goal. I'm like, I hate to go cover zero this much, but I don't know what else to do. We got to bring everybody down. I'm going to try my best to control the middle of the box. And we still score, and they still almost get the touchdown. Again, just nobody can get a push. Not a single defensive lineman can do anything, and I don't know what to do about that. Third and goal. Um, I'm going to just do like a, just an all blitz. I, I, again, I'm just trying to, I'm just throwing darts out here. I'm bringing everybody down. Oh, just, it doesn't matter what you call. They just get their yards and points. It just, it's frustrating. I wish I had an answer. But when your defensive line can't do anything, it doesn't matter what you call. So, you could give me advice on what to do, but it, it doesn't matter if your front four can't do anything. Everybody gets pushed. So guess what? We're going to have to just play comeback all day, and I just, it's just going to be no fun, but I'll get through as best I can. Middle of the field, I'm going to let that one go. So we're going to break some offensive records today as long as we don't turn the ball over. Let's try triple. And it may not be a good idea to run triple with this middle linebacker, but I'm going to do it anyways. And now they're spreading out. Just a terrible... That Look at my guard. My left guard. Both of my guards got destroyed. So why can't their guards play like that? That's what I don't understand. Why do, Their guards are just getting just complete domination on my defensive tackles. But my guards just can't do crap. <sighs> Offensive line, line play is everything. It matters. That's all that matters. Let's do another power option. And it looks like we got the better matchup of the two, but I just... I'm going to just keep that. There we go. Get another first down. That may be a face mask. I hope it's a face mask. Yeah, I thought I saw that on the quarterback. So that's going to be a 15 yard, but we're going to get the best spot. So I guess we'll accept that. We'll go back to off tackle. Unless I got to go back to the right because they went 5 2 this time. Nobody. So why can't our players play like that? I just, I don't get it. We're much better than they are, but not today, apparently. So I, I got to go to Gardner here. I don't know what else to do. Just nobody blocked. Not a single person got a block for me. Somebody, anybody. Quit acting like a crap game when you're just, everything's going against you. Man, it just burns me alive when that happens. All right, so let's go vertical. We're going zone. I, I don't know if we can get a first down. They're blitzing. Great throw. Keep the drive alive. Man. Oh, good job, Jackson. So from here, I want to try Sting. Just another handoff for Gardner. Get a block. Thank you. Get a block. Get to the outside. So, I, do I need, like, I wish I could run clock, but I don't want to use that until, like, the fourth quarter. Let's go off tackle. 
I'm going to go back to the left just to give it to Gardner. Get a block right there. Just enough to get to the outside. Just enough of a nudge. So guess what? We're just trading touchdowns at this point. Because our poor defense just can't do anything well today. They just decided to take the day off, I guess. Let's kick the extra point. So I'm trying to figure out what to do on defense. I've called everything, and nothing's working. Again, it doesn't matter if your front four can't do anything well. Um, I don't know how to help them out. Like, I'm even controlling one of the linemen, and it ain't making a difference. This wasn't a very good kick. Just get a tackle. There you go. Uh... I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna we'll do a cover zero, but it scares me to death to try it. I'm gonna do an over front. Don't go over the top, please. Half back direct. You got to make the tackle. Uh, so it's second and four. Got to make the tackle. Uh, let's go one high. I'll control the outside, maybe. Is it going to work? Is it going to matter? Option. Just another first down. I don't know. It just it's the. This now you understand why running the ball is so much easier in this game. You get plays like that. It just doesn't matter what you call. So I'm going to try like a cover two. Like we may, we may do like a Tampa two type deal. Where I'm gonna control the middle linebacker, and it doesn't matter if I'm gonna make crap plays like that. See, I completely botched it. See, I'm I'm hurting my team when I do stuff like that. It just so what else are we gonna try? I don't know. How about uh, cover three? Maybe this will work. Going ah, oh, and I botched it there. Just got in a bad spot, second and six. I'm going to... Maybe I could control the blitzer. Maybe I'm better off doing that. Like, do something like this and just run on him. Or just break the tackle and get another first down. I, again, it doesn't matter. <laughs> He's just going to get his yards. So another first and 10 uh, with no luck. Uh, let's try, I don't know. Let's do this spy three blitz. I'll control this blitzer. So is this going to matter? Hey, I made a tackle. He only got a couple yards there. Second and nine. Going back to a bigger set. Uh, let's go nickel. Let's do crash three. Again, I'm just throwing darts out there at this point. We'll do something like this. Double. All right. So it's third and long. Uh, we can try. Like what worries me here is I'm going to go cloud. I'm not going to blitz the guy. He will just run away from it and probably get a first down. So I'm going to just stay out here. Maybe I can force him to throw in my direction. Maybe make a play somebody. Good job. All right, so we stopped them. Awesome. Fourth and 12. But are they going to go for it? No, they're going to punt it. Awesome. Good deal. So we got to stop. We don't need nothing stupid to happen down here. Remember what happened last game? We had a mess up like around the two-yard line. Fair catch. Get out of the way. Everybody, get out of the way. Get out of the way. So middle of the field. Uh, we can try... Let's go vertical. They're going zone. I'm going to try to hit the post again. I'd like to get some yards out of it or a, a score of some sort. Great throw. Great throw. Call a timeout. Call a timeout there. They went cover two. That's what helped there. So let's try. I'm going to go offensive line. And I'm going to try the rollout again. 
I'm going to give Jackson the option. And they're going zone. I got to be leery here that this new whale kid, he'll stop on his route. And they're blitzing hard. Oh, gosh. Get that catch. Great catch. Call another timeout. Whew. All right. He didn't stop on his route. Did you notice he didn't hitch on it? He just kept on going. It helps when he actually finishes a route. So now where we're at. Uh, first and 10. I may try. Let's do an option. I got one more time out. We're close to a field goal at least. Let's see if I can get some yards off an option play. Just get up the field. Get out of bounds. I think that's a face mask. Oh, they didn't call it. But we got out of bounds. Second and eight. Now I'm going to just run a basic off-tackle play with Gardner. And then we'll figure out the do on the next play. Just, oh, thank the Lord he's an impact player. Just outrun everybody. Outrun everybody. Oh, my gosh. What a play. Hey, if he's if their CPU or um, impact tapback is going to make broken tackles, ours needs to break a few tackles as well. Ah, so just two teams just are very similar in style in terms of both love to run the ball are just going at each other, just trading punches. So this may be just a really ridiculously high game. The problem is we got 22 seconds left. We just got to hold them as best we can. Try not to for or let go of any points here before the half. Then we get the ball started third quarter. Maybe we can get a two-score lead on them. Got to think possessions at this point. We're up one. Yes, we're up seven, but we're technically up one. Somebody get a stop on that guy. Good job there. So say uh, 19 seconds. They're going three wide. I'm going to go, uh, we'll go cover two. I think they'll just do like a basic run just to get to the locker room. I'm going to do an under front. Going to pass it. Good job, Blair. Got a hand on it. And so now they're passing it. Uh, if they're going to do that, are they going to keep passing it? So do I need to go quarters here? Let's go quarters. I'm, I'm going to do an under front. I want that defensive end to get off the line. Now they're going to do bait. That's what I want to see right there. So it's third and 12, and they're going to let that clock roll. I'm going to let it do so. We can't do anything with that many seconds left. If we got the ball back somehow. I just want to get to the locker room. All right, end of the first half. 28-21, to 21, a crazy game. Not much defense. But we're up a possession. So let's go to stats and scores. 252 to our 302. I mean, both teams are going to hang well over 500 the way things are going. Both teams are killing it in the run game. Uh, not doing a whole lot in the pass game, but it's actually about equal if you look at the yards and the completions and attempts and such. Both teams are doing a good job on third down. No turnovers, though. They did have one, but they picked it up on the fumble. So Jackson, four for six, no touchdowns. But on the ground, Gardner's got four touchdowns. It's just, I mean, he's going to shatter the rushing record, whatever that is. Like, he apparently broke the all-time rushing record, and he's just a junior. And he's going to smash the single-season rushing record in terms of touchdowns. He's already got four. That's just kind of the way it's worked out today. But receiving Long has got a couple. Gardner got one. New Wales got that big one late in the first half, but no touchdowns on the uh, through the air. But defensively, Garcia, the freshman middle linebacker, has got five tackles already. Really cool. Tackles for loss. McCutcheon's got three. No sacks and no interceptions. So let's head him back into the game. We got a score here. We need to go up two possessions. Middle of the field, we're going to let that one go. I would love to try triple, but again, the last time we called it, both my guards got destroyed, so I just don't think it's worth it. So let's do a basic handoff with Gardner. We're going zone. Not a hard, crazy shift. So let's go to the left this time. Just get a couple, not much there. We may try... Let's go basic tackle. Zone 5-2. I got to go to the right, apparently. Uh, let's go over here. 
Get a block there. Just get up field. Get a first down. I'd like to try play action. I'd love to try to attack one of those safeties. We're not having very good luck doing it so far, but we can try it here. They're going man. So I will probably just go to somebody on the outside. Cover one. Get a throw there to Williams. Pick up five, six yards maybe. Second and four. I'm going to go, I'm going to flip those guys. And I'm going to have Garner run to the right. So he can run over that tight end. Good, blo good blocking right there. Good blocking. Get a first down. Next up we have, let's try basic option. Zone 4-3. Had to pitch that off quickly. Get a block right. Oh, he missed the block. New whale, or not new whale, but Randall, my B back. I thought, oh, just get that block right there. We'll probably get a touchdown. Nope, I'm just going to whiff it. <laughs> so good job. Uh, let's go back and just do a basic off tackle run. Looks like I got to go to the right. And just do something. I just I should have I should have cut up field more on that. That was my fault. Second and seven. I may just stay here and we just gotta give the ball to number three. How about that? I don't care where that linebacker's at. He needs to touch the ball. Let's go to the left. Just get a block or don't. Nobody blocked on that one. Good job, everybody. So it's third and forever. Uh we'll try vertical. They're going man. I'm going to have my B back go to the left, just kind of get out of the way. And I'm just going to run with Jackson. Let's just pick up the first down. Get a first. Just keep it simple and just let him get the first down. So let's try. Let's go with a basic handoff to Gardner again. I'm going to go to the right. Get a block. There we go. That one block was all that was needed to get the first there. And then from here, let's just go off tackle and get our touchdown. We'll just go back to tight, our favorite formation. I'm going to run. Uh, I can go either way on this one, I guess. I'm going to go to the left. Face mask. Oh, you got to call that. He didn't call it. Uh, we'll just stick with this and let's go power and I'm going to go back to the left again just go to Gardner just makes sense to do so can I get to the outside and I didn't get it golly uh, so we'll try tackle again and I got to go back to the left because they got the extra guy on the right just there we go all right so we're up two scores. We're up two. Garter with rushing touchdown number 5,000 on the day. Just incredible. I mean, he's I, I've never put up so many crazy stats with one running back ever. And we're running an offense, so he doesn't get the ball all the time, which just baffles me that he's still putting up his numbers like that. Now, it does help we're not going up against the greatest teams ever because we're in the MAC. But we're not exactly loaded down with talent either. I mean, most of these teams are about matched up with us roster-wise, at least the top half of the league. So let's get on defense and hope for the best. Otherwise, like I said earlier, Garner is going to just get a lot of crazy numbers today because of this, because we got to keep scoring points. We're going to try a zone blitz. I'm going to blitz from one side and do something like this from the other. And I'm just going to control the blitzer. Oh, I whiffed it. Intercept that, Hickman. Good job. Good job, Hickman. He threw it quick. Is it because of the pressure that I put on the quarterback? I whiffed on the sack. I thought they actually was running, so good job on the play fake. So I whiffed it. But thankfully, he threw it quick. I'm, I'm going to guess it's because of my pressure. So good play there. Uh, what I want to try to do, 
Do I have it here? I'm going to go PA roll right. And we're going to actually roll unless they go cover two. I may hit Williams over the top. So we're going to try this. Cover two, sack. <laughs> Never mind. That went out the window. Now let's go power option. We're going to just try to run this with Jackson and Gardner. Get up field. First down. I think I got it. Barely. It's close, but I think I got it. First and 10. Woo! Let's go and try. I'm going to try halfback option. We haven't really called that today. We're going zone. I'm going to let just we, just, we need a block on the left side. Right, get up field. Ooh, okay. We'll just stick with this. Just get a first down. So that defensive end, that's what worried me. But we got blocked on him real quick, and it kind of spooked me. I'm like, okay, where do I go? So I had to just cut up field. That makes it what? Uh, are we... We can try... Let's just go back off tackle for now and get on a hash. Now they're going dime. I'm going to go back to the left. Get a block. Good job right there. Probably didn't need to juke. That was my fault. So where are we? We are on the left hash. I'm going to try this play action. And they're going man. I'm going to try. I'd love to go to Williams over the top if they go cover zero. Let's see if that happens. And they're going over the top or going cover zero. Get a touchdown. Can you get it? Nice. Great play. It worked. Otherwise, I was just going to run with Jackson and hope for the best on that one. Great play, 15. So you go back and look at this. They went man. We got a post route by Williams. Just kind of going right there. I love hitting these post routes. I cover zero. Go routes are fun. Post routes are actually probably more fun. It's just a little more difficult. Just another way to attack deep. But they went cover zero. I could have went to my B back as well. But I thought this was the better matchup. I trust his hands more than I trust my B back's hands. But a great throw. Right where it needed to be. Awesome. So we can go right here. Can I not his crotch, but we can try something like that. That would be a pretty good one, maybe. Let me go ahead and get that thumbnail while I'm here. So thankfully, we're up three scores. Feeling a whole lot better now. Now that we've got it, all it took was just to get a couple stops. A turnover here, a stop there. But as long as we keep scoring... We can tough it out. So we're up three. I'm going to get back on defense and I guess put more pressure on the quarterback. He he got spooked on that last blitz and threw it quick. So maybe we'll just do that again. I was actually called that play to stop a run play. Ooh, we may get lucky on this one. Get a tackle. Get a tackle. That's a good place to be. I'm going to go back to that same play. I'm going to blitz with the blitzer. Do something like this. And I'll just try to go after whoever's got the ball. Half back direct, and I whiffed it again. Good job, Al. I whiffed it. I came on the inside too quickly. Good pickup on the, from the B-back, though, or from that fullback right there. So it actually wasn't really my fault. But either way, that was just a good job on their end. So that's our first down. I'm going to go to a one high this time. We'll do it the man version of it. I don't know what happened there. I didn't like any of that. And another first down. They're on the right hash. Uh, I want to try... Let's go back to that crash two again. Just keep trying to contain the edge, more or less. I'm going to control this defensive end. We'll come off either side. Make a tackle, somebody. Going to pick up five yards. Third, that QB draw game has been killer for them today. So he injured his arm, so how bad is it? Is he going to come right back? Uh, They're going to go... With a bigger set. I, I, we don't have any outside rushing here. Or outside blitzing. 
Just some oddball. Uh, let's try this monster too. I don't know what's the best thing to call here. Get up the field. Or don't. Just get another first down, why don't you? Again, our front four is terrible. They're just getting blitzed and beaten around. It just It's sad. I mean, it's the only reason why we are not blowing this team out is because our front four has just failed today. It's first and ten. Uh, we'll try this outside linebacker fire. If I make control, uh, they keep going with the balance sets. I don't know how useful this will be. Make the tackle. There you go. So they went with, I think that's the halfback pass play. That's very hit and miss. So great quarter, 42 to 21. It's second and 14. I think I'm going to go quarters. And I'm going to have them do an under front, just in case they want to run off tackle. That defensive end should be left wide open. Good job. Just get a stop there. So now it's third and long. I'm going to try Cloud. And their quarterback's out 10 weeks. Out 10 weeks. That's terrible. I hate that for them. Especially when the game is over with. He's got all day to throw. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Wow. All right, what do you do? <laughs> Just when they got all the time in the world to throw, they're going to make a good play out of it. So another first down. Well, I'm not worried about the quarterback anymore. He's he's not fast. So you go back and look here. This guy's out for the next, pretty much the rest of the season. He's out for a game. So now they got a pocket passer in there. So now it just comes down to stopping the impact fullback. So let's do a one high. I'm going to control the blitzer, but I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to get on here. Let's just back up a little, actually. Just uh, make it play somebody. Wow, just another good. Their third string quarterback's making plays. Second and five. Uh, let's try quarters. We have made less mistakes than they have. That's pretty much the only reason why things have worked out the way they have. Another killer play. I mean, just again, what do you do? <laughs> Front four, destroyed. Nobody got off the block. We got close, but that's about as close as we've kind of seen all day. Just our front four is just getting embarrassed. Uh, let's try. Let's do another zone blitz. I'm going to have him do that. Just so that defensive end can be free if needed. That's what you want to see right there. But they made the touch. I just... Golly, look at this. It's just stupid. Anyway, so my defensive end almost got the sack because I've done an under front. That's what we wanted to say. The problem is he somehow didn't get the sack. And they somehow, my secondary, just chose not to do anything here. It just, like, what's what's 35 doing? I don't know. He's just kind of standing there. I mean, I don't even know who you are. I mean, what are you doing? Cade. I, I don't know what he's doing there. And just like that, they scored. So now it's a two-score game. But it's the fourth quarter. I'm going to run clock. We just got to win the game. That's all that matters at this point. So that's good to see. I don't know if anybody's ever, like, accused the game of feeling like it's got the momentum meter to where once we get some momentum, the other team just can't do anything. Well, there you go. They just scored a touchdown, and we've been dominating for the last quarter and a half. So that kind of goes out the window there. So let's get on offense and get the touchdown back, but we'll do a little slower. Get a block somebody, nobody. Nobody blocks. I'm going to... Let's go basic off tackle. I'm going to go to the right. Just nobody picked up that guy. Not a, just, We're lucky we got the three yards we did. Second and seven, and I had to step out of bounds so the clock stopped. We're just not getting good rushing up for their front four. Now, I wish I had the answer for it. Oh, nobody picked up. The only reason that happened, because he's an impact guy. 
Okay, so let's try. I stepped out of bounds again, so I gotta snap it again. Uh, let's just go to the right. Just nobody blocked. Nobody blocked. Nobody blocked. Uh, let's try. Let's go option this time. We're going zone. Now at least we can run a little clock. But I'm going to try some options. Let's get Jackson going. Then we'll figure out what to do on third down if needed. So the key here is just run some clock. Get this long drive and end this thing. But this game is nowhere near over. Get down to a few seconds. Get a block right there. Good block right there. Just cut up field like that. Just hang on to it. First down. 15. He's got 210 yards on the day. That's nice. Uh, we can try just another off tackle play. We stayed in bounds too. That helps so we can run some more clock. We need about three more first downs. Unless I can stretch it like within three plays for each one of those downs. Just slowly let it do its thing. We're going to let it Give this to Gardner. Let him make a play. And somebody got hit in the backfield. I don't... Is my tight end got destroyed? Bo look, look at my tight... Like, none of this has happened today with that other team. My guard gets destroyed. My tight end gets destroyed. But theirs, their front five gets pushes all day. It's a... I mean, the only... I mean, it's a miracle because of Gardner. He is the miracle. And they're gonna play so let's try... Second and seven. I want to try. Let's try basic option. Keep that clock running. Ooh, so we may want to run to the left. I'm actually going to get this guy over. Just simplify the numbers. And let's run to the left. Let the clock run down a little bit. Then we'll get a block right there. Good job. Get a, I'm just going to get down, get the first down. <laughs> Two minutes of 15 to go. We can try... I'm going to try counter. Just to throw a different concept at them. Don't know if they'll react differently. It'll be a little slower of a concept, but we'll go to the right. Let's keep running this clock. If we can get one more first hand, I think we'll end it. I know we're up two scores, so it's going to be kind of a miracle for them to come back and win it but again just all it takes is a turnover them scoring getting the ball back you know it can happen just don't fumble it there impact guy on impact guy there second and five let's try lead so they called a timeout they're finally going to start using them go to the left cut up First down. They're going to call another timeout. And they got one left. It's going to take about one more timeout to finish this thing off. Let's go back to tackle. We're going to run to the right this time. Letting you whale handle it. Just stay away from that linebacker. Just cut up field. Get a first down. Just don't fumble it. Good job. That may do it right there. But I'm going to keep running it. I don't think I have enough time. There's too much time left to take a knee the rest of the way. So let's just keep running the ball. But we'll still run clock. So Gardner may get another touchdown here. We'll see. Number seven on the day or whatever he's up to now. Is he up to five or six? I, you lose count after a while. I guess that's a good problem to have. If they didn't turn the ball over that one time, and if we stopped them at the end of the first half, this game would have been tied right now. So it was just a couple big plays that changed us. There he is. He's got six on the day, so that's the most ever in a game. for uh, Again, he's just – is he the greatest halfback ever? I don't know. <laughs> he's doing everything just – and he's such a junior. Imagine if he'd done this for four seasons. He'd be about the sole reason why I would want to stick with Akron regardless of what happens this year in terms of getting – an invite if he was willing to stay like I would really love to convince him to stay for one more season and then see if he can just destroy every record possible in those four seasons and nobody will be able to break him
That would be pretty cool to see. All right, so we're up three scores, and one of our tight ends got hurt on a kick on a spe uh, extra point. That makes no sense. I hope it's not serious. Can you imagine getting hurt like that on an extra point? At Tennessee, we fake injuries on extra points just to save time. I didn't know if anybody knew that or not, but if you ever go back and watch some of our games, you notice how we have a lot of guys get injured on extra points, and we do that just to kill clock and time to rest our defense. Another little veer and shoot plug there. Uh-oh. Get the tackle there. So minute two, are they just going to start throwing the rest of the way, or are they going to feel like it's over officially? Let's go quarters. Gardner only had 207 yards rush in the day. Kind of a low game for him. But he made up for it with the touchdowns. Switch concept on the right. And a fumble, but it went out of bounds. Uh, we'll just stay in quarters. It looks like they're determined to throw the rest of the way. So Harwell's out for two weeks. So our t we've had just bad luck on the injury front this year. So he's out. He's our number two guy. So we got a backup who's going to be fine. We're going to be okay, but we just don't need any more injuries there. Our tight ends are pretty important. They don't ever get to catch the ball or do anything, but they block for us. So let's see what they do here. They're going to throw it. Intercept that or don't get a first down. They've had a lot of first downs today. We'll have to go and check that stat once the game is over with. They may call something goofy here. Nope, they're going to just pass it. Sack. Grant got to him. Just let that. Somebody came. finally came through. Looks like they're going to go back and call the same thing, I guess. Do something like this. Do a little 4-3 out of the nickel. Third and 14. At least the clock stopped on him. So I'm going to do just basic cloud here. This quarterback's not fast enough to get the first down on the zone. And they're doing gun ace twins. And let's see if Hickman can make a play. He overshot it, thankfully. Fourth and 14. I assume they'll punt it. They're not going to. Okay, uh, we can try. I'm going to do basic quarters. We got an extra guy back there. I may just, yeah, let's just go after the quarterback. Let's see if I can get after him with get on this tackle. Ah, oh, good play up by the quarterback there. But even better play by Blair. And that is it. Oh, that's first down. So that was a fourth down play. So we're going to QB kneel it the rest of the way. And end this thing officially 49 to 28. The score doesn't show up, but it was just a lot closer. All it took was just we didn't, we didn't have any big mistakes. We didn't have a turnover. We didn't have any stops. We scored on every drive. That's the only way we won, and thankfully they had that one turnover. We had a stop in the first half, and we had one other stop in the third, and that's the reason why we won by three touchdowns. So good little game there. Oh, going to get a little handshake there with the coaches, but let's just move on. Let's go to some stats and scores and finish the rest of this up. We're now 4-0. We may go undefeated this year. Our, our defense needs to play a little bit better, but I think we can do it. Let's go to stats. So 522 to their 350, 409 to 195. So we just stopped the run game a little bit better in the second half. I, I made a couple of adjustments, just kept blitzing off the outside, off the edge, and just kind of sacrificed the middle, and it seemed to work out a little bit better. Uh, they had a little bit more passing yards than we did, but both teams done a great job on third down. You look at uh, look at the red zone. Both teams just killed it in the red zone, but they had a bad turnover. We took advantage of it, and they had there was something else I was supposed to look at. Was that yet? For some, I wanted to look at the first down conversions, but I don't see any here. Maybe the, the game doesn't uh, keep up with that. Either way, individual stats: Jackson six of eight, one touchdown. Oh yeah, and it also helped that their starting quarterback got hurt in the third quarter. So Jackson six of eight, one touchdown. A great game for him. Running the ball, Gardner had 207 yards, six touchdowns. Jackson had 103 yards. Newell had 99. So our top three guys pretty much done their thing. Receiving, we had four guys get to touch the ball. 
Well, we got one touchdown out of Brandon Williams. A really cool post play over the middle. Really neat. You go to defense. Garcia, the true freshman, led in tackles again. Blair right beside him. This is what you want to see. You want the linebackers to get the tackles. You go tackles for loss. McCutcheon and Grant led there. One sack and one interception by Hickman. You look at the box score. We won the middle quarters. Tie game in the fourth, but the middle quarters we won just slightly, especially that third quarter. But otherwise, it was just a tight race throughout. So let's get out of here. We're going to look at some things. we got a home game coming up, an important one. Let's go here. I'm going to sim the week. we got Western Michigan. we got two prospects visiting, maybe three by the time we look at some things here in about 10 seconds. Well, we got to look at the top 25 scores first. Go through here. So let's look at the top 25 scores. We won, and then you got AM LSU over Georgia, 34 to nothing. So even against two tight teams like that, you can have blowouts. You got Clemson over Boston College. You got uh, Purdue over Minnesota. Michigan still winning. Florida's winning, uh, beat Tennessee. NC State won. And then you have uh, Mississippi State, Texas Tech won, and then Virginia Tech over Florida State. So recruiting. Right guard, we're still number one on his list. We just don't know what he's into yet. But Anthony Reed, he is ready to visit, and he cares about football tradition. That is program prestige. So we're going to leave that pitch as is. Next up, Justin Osai, the quarterback. He is ready to visit. We just don't know what he's into, but I'm going to have him come as early as possible. Why not? Let's just go ahead and see what he doesn't like. So he doesn't care about location. He doesn't care about academics. And he doesn't care about playing time. I'm going to stick with program prestige. That's the most common one of the bunch, the most popular usually, especially for those four-star and above kids. So let's stick with program prestige there. Next up, we got Jared Colvin. We know what he likes. He likes Akron and wouldn't mind leaving, living there for the next few years. So we know that is location for him. So we are locked and loaded for three guys coming in for the next game. So let's go to Sports Illustrated. Top 25 polls. Michigan, Oklahoma, USC, Florida, Cal, so on and so forth. And we are 21st in the coaches poll and a little bit higher, 17th in the media poll. Pretty cool. Heisman Watch. We got to check this every week now because we got the best player in the country. He's got almost 1,000 yards through four games already. So he's on pace to get over 3,000 yards rushing. Like, it's not even close. He, he, he will shatter that. 17 touchdowns on the ground, three through the air. He's got 20 touchdowns already. He's on pace to put up 60 touchdowns with the running back. I, I've never done anything close to that before. So it's cool. You're going to see this all live. I got it all on tape and everything. It is true. You can do this. It is possible. So you got Texas Tech quarterback Graham Harrell, wide receiver for Florida, and a couple other quarterbacks on the list. I don't know if any of these guys will ever be able to touch. Well, I mean, well, I, it's possible. Now, you see here with the air raid quarterback, he's got 24 touchdowns already. But I don't know. This kid's special. Hopefully he can win it, and he should, and he deserves it. Players of the week, nationally, Brandon Gardner. Who else? Six touchdowns, 207 yards. And you got an outside linebacker for Clemson putting up a good game. You go to the MAC. Of course, Gardner wins the offensive war. And defensive tackle for Bowling Green had a really good game. I wish our defensive tackles would have played like he done today. You go to conference standings. This is starting to matter a little bit more, so we can look at the East. We're finally starting to play some games in the conference. Let's go to the team info screen. We got Height out for three more weeks. Harwell is out for a week. Hopefully we could just survive without him for at least one more game until he can get back because we need him in our – run game. Then you got Jackson Gardner Williams. Williams is now starting to get that title. I don't think Gardner will overmatch him, which I'm fine with. But you look at our defensive leaders, Blair, Grant, and Hickman. Western Michigan, they are not in our division. This is another non-division game, so you go over here. If I can get to them. They are 1-2. and two. They lost their last game to Toledo. They got a quarterback out. Looks like their starting quarterback is out. Now, we'll just see if their backup quarterback's any good. Can he run? That type of thing. You look at their running game, not much going on there. Their best rushers averaging a little over 54 yards a game, which is nothing. Receiving, not a whole lot there. And defense, just a bunch of random dudes just kind of doing whatever. So that's who we got coming up next, Western Michigan. I do not know what they run. Uh, we played them last season, and I just don't remember. Forgive me. But, I mean, you, you kind of know what they kind of run once you get to the first drive or so. But you look here. 
Uh, you look at their stats. They're not very good at anything. Their best stat is pass defense. Technically, it's turnover differential. Uh, but you look at our stats, we're number one at points per game, rushing, pass defense, and we got more talent than they do. So hopefully we got a simple home game, take care of business, get some commitments, and keep this gravy train rolling. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.